Real relationships, real conversations. This is who we are. This is couples connect. Real relationships, real conversations. This is who we are. This is couples connect. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. My name is Akita. And I'm Tisha. Welcome to Couples Connect. And we want to just check in. In 2023, this is our first video of the new year. Can you believe that it's 2023? Already. I feel like 2022 just like went by. I don't know. It was a little <laughs> bit long for me. <laughs> was it? <laughs> but I feel like 2023 is like... I feel like we should be flying in saucers or something. Like when I thought about mm. going into 2023. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I just had this futuristic vision of what it is not. <laughs> it's coming soon. I'm sure we get in there. <laughs> yeah, true. Jeff Bezos or whoever, they're going to make, uh, what's his name? The, the Tesla guy? Yes. Well, probably when we get a Tesla, <laughs> we might feel like we're Look, operating. They may be flying at the time we're able to get a Tesla. Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, Teslas drive by themselves, right? Yeah. Well, some of them, yeah. yeah. They do self-driving. So, I mean, we coming along, but yeah. you know. But anyway. <laughs> Happy 2023. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, you guys. Um, and so we wanted to hop on here to say Happy New Year, but also talk about some things that we do as the new year approaches as a couple, yeah. as we're walking into the new year. Yeah. Um, I know for me, I have instituted, like some people have resolutions and... You some know, people have like a, a focus of the year, like a word for the year that they go by... Yeah, yep. I actually have a phrase this year. And so my phrase is more is coming. Mm. Let it preach. Yes. So, <laughs> so it's, it. it's not and it's not a phrase that I've picked. It's like I've prayed about it and I felt like mm -hmm. actually I got this phrase. I would say around November mm -hmm. of 2022. But I knew that it was what I was going to be the mantra so to speak, that I was going to be using going into 2023. Yeah. And I think for me, it is just like an indication that that God's not done. You yep. know, he's not done with us. He's not done with me as an individual. He's just not done. There is more. More is coming. And, I, and it for me, it just kind of like shifted my mindset on as far as expectation. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like hope. You know, like for expecting from God or everything. I think yeah. expecting from. I think sometimes we can get into a space where we feel like, you know, I've reached my limit. Especially like as you get older, because mm -hmm. every year comes a new birthday. <laughs> That's usually how it works. Yeah, <laughs> and like you know, you can get into that space where, or maybe you just feel like you've kind of plateaued, or you feel stagnant, you yeah. know, in your relationship, or just in general. And so I think that the more is coming, it's just a reminder that like God is not done. That's there right. are new surprises around the horizon. There are new things that you can do, new expectations. Just mm -hmm. It's just very hopeful. And I think when I get in that hopeful state, then I feel inspired and yeah. motivated. If I'm not dead, he's not done. Come on. If I'm still breathing, I'm <laughs> he's still moving. He's still moving. Mm, you caught that. <laughs> You caught that. I thought you was going to finish. I know it was your turn. You I thought you were going to finish my sentence. I was trying to think of something. But if I'm still breathing, okay, then there's, he's not done. That's, That's what right. you said, right? If I'm not dead, he's not done. And if I'm still breathing, he's not done. I'm not That's dead. Right. That's right. Okay. More is coming. More is coming. <laughs> so what about you? No, I think that those, I think that's a great uh, phrase to look forward to this new year for. Um, I would add to that stepping out on faith. Yeah. You know, I feel like we've been not not necessarily we, but we as a people have been like stuck in the shadows because of fear, because we're, you know, afraid of what people are going to think about us if we're going to fail. And, you know, as time moves on and you hear about people um, leaving this earth, you know what I mean? Or people not living out to their full potential. And then, you know, just realize that life is short, you know? It is. Like we are, this time on earth is what, a, a second or a breath, you know what I mean, to God. And it's it's really like, it moves really, really fast. So while you are in this moment, 
um, live out your life. You know what I mean? Take a step of faith and move out on those things that you've been dreaming about, that you've been setting as goals and have not been uh, moving out on it. I feel like this is our year and the years to come to just continue stepping out on faith. Right. Um, like not teetering around. No, you just we're just going to go and do it and we're going to do it afraid. We're going to do it feeling like we're unprepared because you're never going to have everything, everything perfectly together s- together and set for you to step out because then you'll never do it. Right. You know what I mean? So all the things we're going to step out on faith while in those things. Come on now. You know what I mean? And we'll learn as we as we go. We'll grow as we go. We'll have successes as we go. We'll have failures as we go. But it, it's a continual moving forward. So stepping out on faith. Also, I have another phrase um, from the from, a, um, I guess, a sponsorship or. That, that oh, we've yes, had. Yes. I am protecting my peace Come in 2023. Day long, all year all long. All year long. All the time. It, I'm protecting my peace. I ain't trying to get in nobody's drama. I if if it if somebody got a problem with me, that's not about me. Uh, it's, it it's, surely it's, is not. it's not my problem. It's not about us. That's right. So I am, I am protecting my <laughs> peace. I'm worried about my mental health. Yeah. I'm worried about, you know, me growing and me developing and me evolving. Um, you know, and, and just being the best version of me that I can be. I'm so, excited. I want to yeah. like ride that train with you. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you here. I'm on the train. <laughs> we are one. Two have become one. Yes. Yes. So I'm, I'm excited about that. I think, yeah. I feel like it is important to have words and vision and, mm-hmm. you know, people wait until like the next year to do it, but you can do it at any time. But I think there is something significant about the top of the year. Right. Yeah. And 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 shifting your thinking and seeing it as like new horizons. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I'm excited about that. Yeah. There's a lot of things. More is to come. More is, more coming. is coming. More is coming. There's more a lot is more. Coming. Yes. And another thing that it made me think about that I was thinking about um, a couple of weeks ago was how we are only as limited as our limitations. Mm. Right. And I, and I also Break feel like down. I feel like we can limit we limit ourselves mm-hmm. um, and we limit God, like we limit what God can do through us, through our limitations yeah. of ourselves. Yeah. And so when I feel when 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 I think of the, the phrase more is coming, mm-hmm. I think like make room for it. Open, open yourself up to it. Yeah. Remove whatever limitations that um, you thought, like you thought you had reached your cap or you thought that you had. Um, done all that you could do or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, know that no, no, it's not. It's never. Um, that's never it. There's yeah. always more. There's always more. Yep. And so I just think it's a shifting of perspectives and the shifting mm-hmm. of mindset. And I think that there's something special about when you are in partnership with somebody else and you guys can um, shift those perspectives together. Yeah. When yeah. you talk about like two are better than one, I think when the two come together, it just allows for greater growth, greater expansion, mm-hmm. and just um, you know the stuff that I might feel limited in, you could be like, "Nah, we're not limited there." Like, yeah. you, you could remind me, yeah, and vice versa. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a feeding off of each other. You know what I mean? Like you said, when you have those rough moments, I'm there to help guide you and pull you up. When I'm having a rough patch, you're there to help pull me up. And we really were on the same team working towards the same goal and just pushing each other to 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 do what we need to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So Because I'm sure enough gonna be like, I thought we said we were stepping out in faith. I thought we <laughs> Right. I thought it, we was doing the be thing. Be a reminder, be you now. know, a motivator, <laughs> be a a person who just drives the other person or pushes the other person to where you see them called to be. You right. know what I mean? So right. So I think too when you so when I share words that have been laid on my heart and you share words that have been laid on your heart, then we're able to pull at at those. Did you say that already? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're just but yeah, confirming. But you're I know. Confirming. I'm, I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Mm-hmm. So I think that you're able to you know pull on those things and remind each other. And mm-hmm. I think sometimes you have to hear outside of your own like thinking. Yeah. Your own brain. That's how you grow. That's how you, you know, stay successful. That's how you evolve by hearing other opinions, other thoughts, 
and not just your own. You know, sometimes you you have those core things in your in your heart, those goals and everything, but it always helps to have another opinion. You know, somebody who is at your same level. You know what I mean? And and mean you means you well. Yeah. Like wants to see you grow and succeed. Right. Um, and so that's that's the beauty of marriage. Like, like your spouse. Beauty, right. Right. <laughs> that's the beauty of that. So in the spirit of like newness and new things. Stepping out on faith. Stepping out on faith. Doing that thing. Um, believing God that the limitations will be removed or that there are no limitations. Let me yeah. reframe that. Um, what you want to tell them? We have some exciting news. Yes. In 2023, my wife and I, Tisha this year. and I, this year, we are going to be having our own TV show on the Inspire You Network. We are excited about it. We are. Your boy and your girl going to be on TV. What? So uh, come holla at us. <laughs> we're we going to be on the screen. On, on the, the big, big screen. screen. Yeah, that's right. But we're, su I th we're super excited and humbled about it. Yeah. And I feel like even now when I'm talking about it, we definitely have to do like a YouTube about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I remember, correct, I mean, let me know if you also remember this. I remember when we were, when we started Couples Connect, Mm -hmm. And we were talking like vision casting and mm -hmm. like what our dreams were. We were sitting, I think it was like in an Applebee's. Yeah. And at first we were like, you know, we started Couples Connect, just wanted to like encourage other people and, you know, connect ourselves. But then we were like, well, what can we, what if, what if we were like on a, a TV, TV show? show? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I we remember. Just, and it, it was like, but it wasn't like, a, it was like a thought dream Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like... It was like a passing yeah. thought. Like, yeah, I think we could it do... It was real, like, do... matter of fact. Like, yeah. that's an option. Yep, yep. Um, but I remember the feeling. I think, like, the feeling that I think I had was, wow, you never thought of that before. Mm -hmm. Like, that would be fun. That would yeah. be cool. Like, and like we, you we could can, do that. Yeah, we could do something like that. Yep, yeah. Yep. And then fast forward to now, look, look at what God is doing. So... What? Amazing. Listen, Amazing. Listen. Our I story can't is not it, it was never like, okay, we're gonna start Couples Connect, it's gonna be this TV show, it's gonna be It no, wasn't like part of the, you no. know, original goal or plan. It was just you know, like like you said, it was just the thought that we had that wow, we could do something like, like that. That would be cool. And then we dismissed it. Yeah. Like we had that thought, we was excited about it for like two days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Life happens, stuff happens, and we're like, Oh, you know, just I think I never thought about it again mm -hmm. until this opportunity came yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't even like when we were looking at this opportunity, we didn't just automatically go back and say, oh, remember when? It just kind of happened. It like, it yeah. just kind of happened, yeah. ran with it. And then it's like, in hindsight, we were like, wow, this is like really full circle, really. Mm -hmm. It's kind of full circle, so. And I think it speaks to what we were talking about as far as removing limitations. Yeah. Because in our mind, we were like, okay, let's get back on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Let's build up a YouTube presence. Let's, you know, um, share and talk. Let's let's ramp it up like a couple of levels as far as YouTube is concerned. We never thought uh, globally. Yeah. Because this this um this, it's a global opportunity. This is a that global we have. opportunity. Inspire You is in over two hundred million homes throughout the U.S., the U.K., and Canada. Yeah. And like that wasn't on our radar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not something we were thinking nope. about. We were like, you we, know, were, we were thinking a little more little locally. Box, uh, <laughs> our little YouTube box, right? Yep. Um, and so I think that like when you think about that, you think about more is coming, and you position yourself in your mindset, and you open yourself up yeah. to walking in faith, to believing God, to taking Him at His word, and expecting that He can do more. Yeah, like you, you create the space for Him to do that. Yeah, and I think too, it's it's about manifestation. You know, there's something about when you speak things out into the atmosphere, when you have a certain mindset about something, when you have a certain belief, you know, stepping out on faith that something is going to happen, you know, God works in mysterious ways where he just kind of start taking all of those things that mm -hmm. you are... He's like, oh, okay, you believe in this? Yep. All right, all right. They, oh, your, they, your faith like, is working? Okay, you moving? Oh, you're speaking things into existence? Right. Oh, you're, you're thanking me in advance for something? Right. You know, and God just kind of manifests this thing out of nothing, you know what I mean? And um, I, I think it's just, you know, to show his power and show the power of um, the mindset that you have, you know what I mean? And not feeling like 
you have to be fully prepared, that you have to have training in certain areas mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. that you have to be perfect in certain areas. All you got is starts with belief. Yeah. Starts with belief. Yep. Yeah. And I think too, it was something that it requires both of us to do together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think it's easy to, and another reason why, you know, we believe that marriage is purposeful. Yeah. Right. Because this is not something that solo, like I can't be Couples Connect solo. Mm -hmm. And I think it's easy, I'll, I'll speak for me, it's easy to just, my only childness, to just move out in my solo space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and I, for me, it was a work to be like, no, I want you to do this in conjunction with, like mm. require you, mm -hmm. require me to, um, to let go of control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, letting go we of control. We were just talking about that. Yeah. That episode is to come. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. But yeah, letting... So yeah, I think it's all just... God is just really smart. Mm-hmm. And funny. Yes. God is hilarious. <laughs> Very funny, Lord. Very funny. Yes, yeah. Oh, I got to tell that story. I'll, we'll circle mm -hmm. back to how, yeah. how he had to deal with my heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. About yeah. some things. Yeah, but I think we, you know, we all continue to grow and learn but I, I think the important part is to not allow your growing period to mean that it has to be stationary. You know what I mean? You no, can explain. continue. You can continue to, to move forward. You can continue to progress. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, and not feeling like, oh, I'm growing right now, so I'm not gonna. Make, I'm gonna sit here. I'm not gonna grow. step out on faith. I'm right. not gonna do anything because I'm in my growing period. No. Right. You can still grow while and move and move forward at the same time. And that can be scary. I, I'm glad you brought that point up because mm -hmm. I think you can feel like let me grow and get it all. Like let me evolve. Yes. And then and, and then, then I'll, I'll be the I'll perfect. Move. Thing. And then I can start right. loving people more. And Ooh. then I can start being more patient. Oh, he's trying. And to... <laughs> then I can start doing all these other things. He's trying to preach. Okay. So. <laughs> so yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Let it be a continuous movement. And it's, like you said, it's, it is uncomfortable and it's not yeah. easy. Because you don't, I mean, some stuff is a new space for you. You know what I mean? Being more transparent, being more open, um, t telling, a, you know, more about how you feel could be a new space for you. So it might be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean you don't do it until you perfected it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That was the challenge I had. I feel like a whole bunch of episodes burfing out this little conversation. Because, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Be wanting stuff to be right. So let's talk about the TV show a little bit. Uh, the TV show is going to air on Thursday, February the second, two thousand twenty. That's our pilot. Ah, we got a pilot got episode. A, a pilot. That's episode. our pilot episode. It is weekly, so every Thursday at seven p.m. At seven p.m. At seven p.m. Going forward. Now, in order to get to the network, you have to. It's on Roku, Fire Stick. Um, Apple Plus, Apple TV, Apple yeah. TV um, Android, Android, uh, iPhone. You all those things. Download the app, Inspire, and the letter U. Right. Inspire U Network, and um, that's way that way you'll have access to our show. There are some other great shows on there as well, but uh, but specifically our show. Right. We want y'all to check Every us Thursday out. Thursday at seven p.m. <laughs> new episodes. Definitely. Release. So you'll be able to check us out there. We're going to have uh, conversations. We're going to have fun. We're going to have, yes, we're going to have some games. We're going to have, uh, we can tell them everything. We're going to yeah. have fun. Y'all got to check fun. it out. Uh, we're going to have uh, features and experts come on. And yeah. We're, we're going to create a space where you can have these real conversations about marriage mm -hmm. um, and have fun doing them and still learn and get the resources and grow. Because the goal is at the end of the day for us to be able to thrive in our marriages. Yeah. yeah. And we know that marriage is work. But it's worth it. It's worth it. But it's worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a worth it work. Yes. Yes. Right? In anything of value, there is going to be work to There is going to be work, so. right? So we're going to work with you, go through it with you, and, um, you know, go with you as you're navigating through these these marriage streets out here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. We're excited. We're excited. We hope y'all are. We hope y'all check us out. Let us know. Um, if you watch the show and you want to give us some review or feedback, 
hit us up on Instagram. Come on. You know, hit us up on YouTube and just let us know how you what you think about it. You know what I mean? So and there's also feature opportunities. So if you feel like there's something that you want to share that is relevant to the marriage community or the relationship space, mm -hmm. we do have an application that you can complete yeah. um, to see if you can get a feature episode on with us. And so you can complete that. You can go to our Instagram page or check us out. You can leave a comment in if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, or you can email couplesconnect2020 at gmail.com. There's also commercial space opportunities. So we know we are entrepreneurs. We know a lot of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. This is an excellent way to elevate your brands and yes. your reach globally. We talking about global reach. Yes. And so we have um, some really cool things in that space or opportunities that can be offered to you. And so if you're interested, same thing. Hit us up on Instagram. You can click the link in our bio. There are, you know, little options that you can select mm -hmm. to find out more information. Hop on a clarity call. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'd love to connect with y'all and, and see how we can help your business grow mm -hmm. uh, and your brand reach a, a broader market. So Because we know that it's in community that we do things. Yeah. You know, it is not just us alone with all the resources. I'm sure you guys have resources and information, books. Um, programs, all those things Services. that people need to know about. Yep. Right. To, Clothing lines, all of that come stuff. Come on now. Yeah. We, we all into the date night situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if somebody got some... Okay, no. What? I want to say some like lingerie-ish. Oh, yeah. If <laughs> you sell a lingerie... I mean, scrubs and all kinds oils, of things can all make that. me experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, let them yep. use you. Let them use you, okay? <laughs> there is a community out there for you. How about that? <laughs> At Couples Connect. <laughs> so, yeah, we're so excited. We're excited. And we, we want are. to hop on and just wish you guys a happy new year. And as we're stepping out in faith and removing the limitations on the things that God can do with us as a couple, we... Mm -hmm. Um, hope and pray that you guys are doing the same thing for That's yourself right. and for your marriage. That's right. This is the year for you. It this is. is the year. 2023. Mm -hmm. my, my girlfriend, she got a, a song. 2023 is my year. Something like that. Shout out to Cameo 2023 Bobo. is my year. <laughs> That's the theme. That's the theme for the year. Where'd you got your band I don't know. On? I was trying to do what? a dance. <laughs> I don't know. what Does it look like I'm... It looked like you cold a little bit. <laughs> Something other than dancing is happening, but no. We're super excited, and yeah. we're excited to take this journey with you guys. That's right, and we can always say that we appreciate and love the support. We thank you guys for uh, following our journey thus far. Uh, more is to come. More is coming. More is coming. More is coming. So stick with us. We love the, the journey. We thank you for supporting us and for following the journey with us. Make sure you check us out, Inspire You Network on Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, um, what did else we say? Uh, Android, <laughs> all, the all the things, all the things. Download the app, check us out, February 2nd, 2023. We are hitting the ground running. Check y'all out, peace. Stay together, stay connected. And stay connected.